Check out my dinosaur here. How's it work? This is my dinosaur. And this is the painting I'm doing today. What I did was I took a picture of this guy and I printed it out and I put it on my projector and uh, I painted it. I didn't quite catch, her, catch the color the same, but I thought this guy was kind of cool. So this is a great little project for kids. Great project for kids and for old ladies and for moms and dads and for anybody because this is cool. It's part of my uh, plastic dinosaur collection. And uh, I want you to give this a try and check out the video. Every time I post a video, I think this is the one that's going to blow up my page and make me a YouTuber. So far, that hasn't happened. It actually hasn't even come close. So if you can give me a hand here and uh, help me get this thing advertised, like it and share it and whatnot, I would appreciate it. On this video, um, we're doing a triple take here because we start off with the pencil drawing. I'm using my 8B as in boy pencil. It's a really a thick lined pencil, so I get my dark edges. I started doing this because it kind of mimics the look of ink. But on this particular drawing, I actually do go over it with it it's ink as well, so it's kind of a neat effect. This really, really does have um, a, hey, there's me with my dinosaur. This really does have a comic book look to it because I was really trying to accentuate the uh, thick black outlines that you get on comic book art. Um, I've had to practice a lot on getting my, my ink right. A lot of people use pens, but I use a brush, and a brush can be kind of tricky. So here I'm putting in some shading and some contour lines. Uh, these contour lines were not on the original plastic dinosaur, which is kind of funny because I actually have a plastic dinosaur collection in my art room. I can see from right here, I have about a dozen different ones. And the one that I chose for this picture was my favorite of the bunch. Um, it, I just love the design. I love the big feet and those big toes, those big spiky toes. So here I am, you can see the upper left, I have my ink wells. Uh, and I'm using straight black uh, ink right out of the bottle. And this this lining, uh, it takes a lot of practice to get it right because you want to get your thicks and your thins. And with the brush I was using, sometimes I had to go over it twice to get the thickness I wanted. Um, if, you, if you study comic book art, and you probably should because that's a, a cool thing, of course, um, you'll, you'll notice there's a lot of line weight means a lot in comic book art. So I was really kind of going for a comic book look with this. So I'm going over my, my pencils and I wasn't catching every single line with the ink. I was just catching the main main contour lines uh, to kind of thicken it up. And, and as I was doing this picture, um, it just reminded me of like package design. Like I was doing a, a, something for a model and I took that class in college. Um, I I'm a, didn't graduate, but I did go to the university in Nebraska, Kearney for graphic design and for regular art. I mean, I took all the painting classes, everything you could take. Um, graphic design was just a small part of it. Uh, back when I was into it, graphic design, computer-wise, was just getting started, which I kind of tells you how old I am. But anyway, um, so I'm going in and I'm thickening up and darkening my outlines. And at this point, um, I really like the way this looks. Sometimes I think I go overboard and I should just, should just stop. But here I am getting into my ink washes. And uh, if you follow my page, and you probably don't because most of my followers are brand new, I do a lot of ink wash, and I, I'm a big proponent of ink wash. I mean, it's a lot easier to use that, that ink wash than to use a shader on your pencil. So um, here I am again, and I am getting ready to go in there and do some more ink wash. I am a huge fan of physical brushes, physical media, and physical paint. Recently, I've been seeing stuff online about uh, using tablets and software, and I... I, I that wasn't available to me when I was in high school or college. Um, I'm, maybe I'm a piece of my own time, my own history, but um, I have a little bit of experience with it, and, and I don't think I'm a big fan of uh, computerized brushes and computerized paint, because to me, it, it, I'm going to get some enemies here, but I think it's kind of a crutch to, to help artists out. Um, I, I, I feel that using an actual physical pencil, an actual physical brush, and, and, and actual physical paints mean something. It, 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 you know, it's kind of like AI. You know, I, I, I believe in, in real art. You know, I'm not out there crushing my own paints and making my own paintbrushes. And, you know, I'm not going that far, but I am a product of my generation. So um, I, I, I like what I do, 
and maybe someday if one of you guys wants to send me a tablet with some of that software I'll try out that other kind of paint but right now um, this is the kind of cool stuff I, I like doing so now I am adding the color that thing was kind of a yellowish reddish yellow kind of color so I kind of blended some colors together to get that um, I wasn't trying to be exact with the colors um, I was still trying to go in for that comic book look uh, I, I think that a lot of my stuff really looks comic-y and I have a history with, with, with cartoons and caricature art and all that stuff so um, it, this is right up my alley so if you want to learn how to do cartoons and that kind of stuff uh, just binge watch my videos uh, subscribe to me and you'll learn all kinds of that stuff even if you don't want to learn it and just want to watch somebody do it this is a great page to do that so um, this is a limited palette I went with the, or the yellows a little bit of orange and red I didn't want to go uh, hog wild and get any greens or blues in here for now. Uh, so I was really kind of happy the way this turned out. And like I said before, if you could please like and subscribe and ring the bell.